all you people with HHRs that have problems burping the coolant, here's something that'll help a little bit. You're watching for air bubbles coming out of here, right out of there. So what I'm doing, squeezing this big radiator hose down here, you see that? I'm just squeezing it, now watch over here. See those air bubbles coming out? There was a lot more a little bit ago. A lot of the air is out. But anyway, you just do this while the hose is still cold, and it'll get some of the air out of there for you. Here we go. I'm going to squeeze, see if we can get some more air to come out. There we go. See that? There's an air bubble. And as the thermostat opens and starts letting coolant circulate into the, um, the back part where the heater is and whatnot and gets into the engine, uh, more air will start flowing then for sure. Then you'll start to see some flow go across in the uh, in the uh, the neck, the radiator filler neck. So that'll be um, as soon as it gets up to temp. Yep, there's a little more air. A little more. I want to get as much out as possible. Anyway, keep doing that. Obviously, this hose is going to get too hot to do that with, so uh, just let it run for a while. Get the uh, thermostat open and get it flowing. More air is coming out now. As a matter of fact, I'm not even touching it. And uh, as this goes through this cycle, the air will come out and uh, coolant will get hotter. It will expand. Like right now, that thermostat is opening right now trying to keep it from going down onto the alternator. See? There you go. Air's coming out because the thermostat is opening and uh, letting water circulate into the engine block. Giving a little squeeze on this hose over here. You start to see the coolant go down as it fills in the air pockets. And that's how you burp your coolant system on an HHR. So when it when you can't see the coolant anymore, just add a little bit, and then top off your uh, the coolant bottle when you're done to the required fill level for uh, the engine temperature if it's cold or if it's hot. You basically want to let this run like this until you stop seeing air bubbles come out. Now, if you don't stop seeing air bubbles come out, it probably means you got a leaking head gasket and there's exhaust gases getting into your coolant system. That's not good. air bubbles coming out, that's what you want. Get all that air out. You want to keep an eye on your engine temperature too. Temperature gauge here is doing just fine. So you want to keep your eye on that just to make sure that uh, it's not overheating and you don't know it. That would be bad. This is going to do this for a while, so I'll uh, let it do that. Keeping an eye on things, adding when I need to, checking the temperature gauge, 
and uh, should be done here in not too much longer.